Hi, and welcome to this lesson on constant acceleration, where we will cover displacement time graphs. We can represent the motion of an object on a displacement time graph. Displacement is always represented on the vertical axis, and time is always represented on the horizontal axis. The lowercase s represents the displacement, and lowercase t represents time. In the first scenario, there is no change in the displacement. Our object is stationary. In our second scenario, the straight line represents constant velocity. The displacement increases at a constant rate over time. In the third scenario, the curved line represents an increasing velocity. That means that the object is accelerating. These three graphs represent the velocity of an object, the rate of change of displacement. We represent the velocity with a lowercase v, whereas the initial velocity is represented by u. By initial we mean the velocity at the start of our measurement. The average velocity is equal to the displacement from the starting point, divided by the time taken. The average speed is calculated by the total distance travelled, divided by the time taken. We represent acceleration by a lowercase a. Let's look at an actual example. A cyclist rides in a straight line for 20 minutes. On the graph, this is represented by OA. She waits for half an hour. This is represented by the horizontal line AB. Then she returns in a straight line to her starting point in 15 minutes. This is represented by the line BC. Work out the average velocity for each stage of the journey in kilometer per hour. The journey from O to A has been traveled in 20 minutes. The displacement for this journey is 5 kilometers. In this question, the displacement is represented by a lowercase d. Velocity is equal to displacement over time. 5 over 20 kilometer per minute. The question is asking us to do it in kilometer per hour, not kilometer per minute. How do we convert it? To convert kilometer per minute into kilometer per hour, we need to times by 60. This is equal to 15 km per hour. The journey from A to B is stationary. Displacement 0, velocity 0. And finally, the stage of the cyclist journey from B to C is the return journey. From 15 minutes to 65 minutes, we have 15 minutes. And from a displacement of 5 to 0, we have minus 5. It's very important to include the minus because we are talking about displacement. Velocity and displacement are vector quantities, hence the direction matters. The velocity is equal to minus 5 over 15 km per minute. Timesing this by 60, we have minus 20 km per hour. The average velocity of the whole journey is equal to the total displacement over the total time. The total displacement is zero. It started at zero and it ended up back at zero. And the total time taken is 65. Hence the average velocity is equal to zero kilometer per hour. And finally, part C, work out the average speed for the whole journey. The total distance traveled is 5 plus 0 plus 5 over 65 minutes. That is 10 over 65 kilometer per minute. Transforming this into kilometer per hour, we times it by 60, which is 9.2 kilometer per hour to two significant figures.